What's happening guys? I'm Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Poor Michigan Reviews. This is going to be beer number two of four in the Super Hoppy Holidays Pack 2022 from Shorts Brewing Company, guys. I've told you there's brand new beers in the equation. I have already given you the Ho Ho Hop It, but tonight we're going to be reviewing the Slurma Claws, which is a double dry hopped, hazy double IPA coming in at 8.1% alcohol. I had to look it up because once again, Shorts does not list their ABV. Um, but someone did tell me in the comment section they've seen it on 16 ounce cans. I've never gotten a 16 ounce can, so I, therefore I've never seen it. On their 12 ounce, it is not listed. So on the bottom, packaged on 10-4, uh, same as my last beer, so these were packaged on the same day, that's good to see. It's October 30th, time of recording, you guys will most likely see this on Halloween when I upload in the morning. Uh, this is a take on their, um, what is it, Slurmlord, I wanna say? I think it's Slurmlord, so this is a similar beer, but maybe it's the double version. Don't quote me on that, I didn't do my research. Um, but this is obviously going with the Christmas theme from Joe Short. Uh, we're gonna go to a Crack'em. Nice pop, nice pop on the top. Once again, Tiku glass from Shorts, cause that's how I do it. Let's see how I feel about a hazy. Sometimes they're hit and miss. I will say these hazies have gotten better. Uh, I didn't like the, Chugasus, I don't think. There was a couple different hazies I didn't like from Shorts, but there were a few that I did like. So, disclaimer, it's a toss up so far. Beautiful golden hazy. It doesn't get any more opaque than this, guys. It looks absolutely gorgeous. That's actually one of the best looking New England styles I've seen in a very long time. There's a little bit of honey, orange, golden, yellow mixed into the equation. Um, you can see that. It doesn't get any better than that. We don't need to go on. It's a thick head, um, very creamy. Extremely bubbly, very thick Dawn soapy, um, sticking to the glass. Nothing to say. Beautiful looking beer. Um, aroma. Ooh. Dang, that smells super fresh. It smells very fruity, yet piney and balanced and dry. Grapefruit. Clementines, like halos. Sweet honey pine, a little bit of herbaceous earthiness, but again, this vibrant, bright, fruity salad kind of mixture. Man, it smells good. I mean, you can tell this bad boy's been double dry hot. It, it just, it's pungent, it, it, it jumps out into your nostrils. It smells delicious. Um, that's all I can say, it smells absolutely scrumptious. Let's dive in for the Slurma Claws, 8.1%, cheers. Oh yeah, they nailed it, man. That's super tasty. First impressions, mouth feels perfect. It's a little bit oily and like hoppy honey pine, like that sweet pine coming through again, but then you got this like tangerine, like candied halos, um, orange peel, um, creamy grapefruit, um, pink grapefruit. But again, that orange is like candied sweet creamy orange, like a deliciously bright, dry hopped, um, balanced. It's it's all those impressions coming through. Uh, there's a little bit of tropical vibe on here. I, I would say like pineapple or peach kind of mixed together. So like this little stone fruity um, tropical vibe put together, but really that creamy um, candied orange is fantastic on the front of this beer, guys. And again, dry on the back end, yet still so tasty. Um, asking you to dive back in for another sip. That's a fantastic first sip there. Kind of West Coasty, but again, on the front, that East Coast, just beautifully uh, vibrant citrus. Uh, a tangerine salad, um, grapefruit mixture, this this honey sweet pine that I keep going back to with a slightly creamy mouthfeel, um, dry piney bitterness on the back end, but it's capped off so well because of that sweetness in the front, but it's, it's not overly sweet in the front, and then it's not overly dry in the back end. If you like West Coast beer, you'll love the back end. If you like East Coast beer, you'll like the front end. So it's like the best of both worlds, literally. Um, this could be one of my favorite New England styles because it has those hops, it has that dry hopped quality, but it's not overdone. There's not so much hop in it 
that it's gonna like weigh you down, hurt your stomach. It's it's not so bitter that it's going to just like uh, dry your mouth out if you're not an IPA lover. Um, but you do have to love IPAs to like this beer because again, I typically like West Coast beers. This is hugging that threshold on the back end of being the West Coast. Um, but wow, a beautiful hybrid on both ends. Um, th this really is, I think, one of my favorite New England styles in a very long time. 8.1% is covered up so incredibly well. Um, I, I would like this in a six pack, man. This is, this is tasty beer. Like it's like stone beer on the, on the back, but it's got like M43 qualities on the front, like all the best points of M43 without like the the hoppy like yeasty like weighing down factor like this beer almost feels lighter at being 8.1% than an M43 being 6.8%. Um, I can't say enough good things but the more you drink it that back end does bitter out and it dries out quite a bit so you have to love West Coast beers to like this one guys. It's got that nice quality in the front but again very very West Coast on the back. Um, beautiful homage of both styles. That was a lot of talking. I'll try to cut it here, guys. I apologize. Um, yeah, man, it's like dry mangoes, too. Dry like peach skin. It's, it's awesome. Almost dank, like dank herbaceousness just hidden underneath all the uh, vibrant hops, too. Man, super tasty. I don't know why I like this so much. Um, I'm gonna go four to five out of five. I think it's a fantastic beer. I will say this is uh, my favorite in the pack so far. I've only had two. So guys, four to five out of five for the Slurma Claws. I'm Dan, thanks for being here. See ya on the next review. Cheers.